is feeling resentful really a problem for you? Well, maybe it doesn't feel like it is. Maybe it's very justifiable given what someone has done to you or not done to or for you, or maybe a circumstance that you've been in. So it makes sense. And I would always recommend allowing ourselves to feel what we feel in the moment. That just makes us a healthy human being. In fact, it's great because when we really feel something, then we can allow it to flow on through. But what I've been finding, I've been talking to so many parents over the last few weeks about resentment. And in fact, it keeps now popping up in a lot of the coaching sessions I'm doing, interestingly. And what I'm finding is that parents like yourself are telling me that they hold on to some pretty strong resentments, often interestingly relating to their um, experiences of becoming a parent. So sometimes it's towards the partner they have or had during that process. Uh, sometimes it's somebody who may be meant to help during that process or afterwards. And, um, you know, those are just some examples, but it, it seems to be a recurring theme. Now, why does that matter, particularly if you are a parent and you are holding on to anger, frustration, sadness, pain that relates to the resentment around a need that you didn't get met at a time when you were really vulnerable. Well, the interesting thing about it, and let's just bear in mind, this, this is not your fault. This is never your fault that it happened and that you felt that feeling. That is normal. The thing that maybe you want to explore and get curious about is, so why are you holding on to it? because it's happened, it's in the past. And of course, what happens every time we connect back with a feeling of resentment, maybe the same person does something that feels kind of similar <laughs> to what they did or didn't do when we really, really needed their help. Or what I'm also getting told a lot by clients at the moment is sometimes their children seem to behave or speak or even have the kind of similar energy to the person who really hurt them and they hold the resentment about. So then it really starts to get messy because there's the original resentment towards that person and particularly if it is, it's the mother or um, father of the child, this is when it shows up very powerfully. So this is the stuff to get curious about for yourself. If you feel that there's a familiar route that you're often going down and whenever you think about, for example, the birth of your child maybe, or something relating to them where you did not get your emotional and or physical needs met and you, you just, every time, it's like, a, it's like a wound that you keep going back to pick. Just be curious about, well, how is that serving me now? Is it serving me now? And really importantly as well, how is it serving your child? Particularly if you have a child who reminds you of the person who did it. Because until you clear this stuff out, then it's always going to sit between you and the person who caused you, you feel caused you the hurt. And it could potentially be sitting between you and your child or your children. And that's when it's it's not okay. And it's definitely not what you want for them. So when we work on resentment, which I've, which I've been doing uh, very recently with several of my clients, it can feel a bit weird because part of letting go of those resentments is, and you'd never necessarily ever need to do this to the person's face, but inside yourself is to forgive what has happened and that sometimes means forgiving the person who did whatever this thing was or didn't do to you and in that forgiveness you get the freedom and if your child is entangled in this in some way emotionally the added beautiful bonus which I know every parent would want is that their child gets the freedom from being caught up in all of that as well. Because if we hold resentments towards their mother or their father, then they can't understand it, but they sure do feel it. So 
I hope that's helped you be get, get a bit curious about, you know, do I hold on to resentments? Are there recurring um, scripts I run through my mind every time I think about that thing or that person or, you know, if they are, then get curious about how that makes you feel on the inside, because it could be resentment rearing its ugly head again. And I suppose it's just wondering, do you want this to be like this for the rest of your life? Because in my experience, I used to be brilliant at holding resentments. Um, it only really poisons you. It's, it's very toxic and it occupies a lot of our emotional and physical energy and time, actually. And it serves, let me see, absolutely no purpose, I realise. Now I'm free from it, I realise, oh my gosh, what a ridiculous amount of time I, I gave to certain people and situations. So if you like the idea of being free from resentments or being really comfortable with them, if they pop in then they can freely just flow on their way because you're not going to hold on to them and get them out and examine them all again, then um, drop me a message and let's have a chat and see how we can free you up to be a much more evolved version of yourself for yourself, but also for your children.